I think it's fair to say that the declaration from both parties signifies a shared ambition to um, expand and to diversify the growing trade and investment flows that are between the EFTA countries on one hand and Pakistan on the other. I think it's also fair to say by signing this declaration we are taking a step forward, one that may in due course lead us to engage in free trade negotiations between the two sides. The EFTA Pakistan Joint Declaration on Cooperation creates a basis for further strengthening our cooperation and promoting trade and investment between our economies. As our chairman already mentioned, Pakistan is South Asia's second largest economy. Uh, Pakistan is very close to Norway. We meet Pakistan in a way every day uh, in, our, uh, in our companies, uh, in our daily life uh, in Oslo. So uh, we have built uh, relations for many years, for two generations. And I think what we are doing today is just a part of this, to build relations between Norway and uh, Pakistan. The fact that the structures of our economies and the presently traded goods and services between Pakistan and the EFTA states are largely complementary would constitute a good basis for a mutually beneficial free trade agreement. I'm glad to state that Pakistan and Switzerland have a record of friendly relations. Today's occasion marks an important cornerstone in further fostering the relationship between our countries. Mr. Chairman, uh, I am honored on the warm welcome accepted to my delegation. And I also deeply appreciate the uh, statements which have been just delivered, uh, giving the background of uh, our endeavor this morning. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we have deep political as well as economic relations with all the EFTA countries. And after signing this joint declaration, we'll work together to focus on bilateral trade, which is still below our potential, and to further promote investment and economic cooperation.